This is a Remembrance Day like no other 2020 where we can't gather in the big groups. Some of the ceremonies are really pared down or cancelled. And still though, it's an opportunity to really remember and honour the past. Remembrance Day is always a highly charged emotional day in our house. Jeff spent 10 years in the Canadian Armed Forces and loved his time, loved serving his country, loved the camaraderie, loved the history and, and being part of that culture for a long time. He also lost some friends overseas during his time served as well. And so when Remembrance Day comes around, there's this real conflict, I would say, within both of us, and I can only speak to my own experience, of really wanting to honor the past, wanting to honor and remember the fallen soldiers and, and the people that have really dedicated their lives to serving our country. And there's also the part of me that wants to put my energy and my focus on peace and what I would really love for the world. And so there's this conflict of honoring the past while really supporting and putting my energy and my attention on the future and what it is that we are creating. Because I know that wherever we're putting our energy and our attention, that's what we're creating. And this is so important, not only on Remembrance Day, but for each and every one of us. We have a past. We have a history. And oftentimes that past and that history, there's conflict and there's tragedy and there's hard times. And it can be really, really difficult to let the past be in the past or to make peace with that part of us, to make peace with our history, to make peace with our past so that we can move forward into the future, into what it is that we would love to create. So what I've come to realize is it's important to honor the past, but to do it with a kind glance, to do it in gratitude, because without that past, without that history, no matter how peppered it is with tragedy, with hardship, with regret, you wouldn't be here without every single thing that has brought you to this moment. We wouldn't be here as a planet without everything that has brought us to this moment. We stand on the shoulders of giants. We are in this evolution and our history is a part of that. So the ability to cast a kind glance on our history, a kind glance on our past in gratitude for where it's brought us and where it's going to take us is really, I think, key. So making peace with that within you, wherever maybe there's some regret, there's some heartache, there's some hardship, what could you do to start making peace with that so you can look back at it, honor it, say thank you, thank you. Thank you to all of the heroes that have fought for our country. Thank you for all of the people who have given their lives, made that ultimate sacrifice so that we could be here today, so that we can ask ourselves that question, what would I love to create? What, what would I love for myself, for our planet? And to use that as a catalyst to really move forward. So on this very, very special Remembrance Day, I encourage you to take some time for self-reflection, remembering the veterans and all of the people who are serving our country past and present, but also looking at your own past. Is there any wounds that need to be healed? Is there anything that you're ready to let go of to say thank you for bringing you to where you are today? Here's to you living a life you love.